Okay, guys, getting a little silly there in the intro, but why not? Because we are employing a very, very vicious device. This is a Love Pedal Chula. This is the Black Mamba version, which means it's a Germanium version. So if you're tuning into this video, welcome back. This is Eric here with Guitar Arsenal, by the way. Sorry, getting ahead of myself. If you're tuning into this video and you're looking for a Chula, review, uh, one of the things you need to understand is there are a few different versions of this particular pedal. This is the germanium version, uh, which gives a little bit grittier and, and certainly a very raw tone that you can get. And one of the things that I love so much about the Chula is that it is a very touch sensitive pedal. And this is sort of the brainchild of not only Love Pedal, but also the wonderful Josh Smith, who is certainly a monster player. And uh, what he wanted was a boost. Um, you know, this is based off one of their older boosts. And basically what they did is they just put two of the boosts in one pedal. And what they did is on the left side, you have a fixed boost that you, you don't have any control over. It's, just, it's like probably four or five dB. Uh, I'm not sure on the exact amount, but it's a fixed boost on the left side. And then you've got an adjustable boost on the right. You can just kind of kick it into, in, into overdrive. So it was kind of like two boosts together but it gives it this sort of rolled off fuzz sort of sound uh, even on the highest extremes of the of the the right side of the tula it can certainly get into some really cool territory now this is a little mexican strat that i've got tuned down to d um so we've kind of got this is my hendrix guitar so anytime that i get into some jimmy you know i'll, I'll, I'll get into into all the way down in, in the voodoo child you know full d uh, which I really love this guitar, but it's got an Emerson wiring harness. These are Abbey wound Woodstock 69 pickups, and we're running into a 1968 Fender Super Reverb, and we have our voltage under control with a brown box, and we're running at exactly 110 volts. You heard the uh, full-tone Deja Vibe there as our Univibe uh, in the intro, and we're getting a splashback of delay from a vintage uh, 860 from DOD. All right, this is an 80s unit. Boy, what a sound. <laughs> and, uh, and it just responds so beautifully to picking dynamics. Let's get the right side back on the Tula. If I pick real soft, you know, it, it responds accordingly. Okay, and if I dig in, it digs in. So it's, it's just great. It's on fire. Black Mamba, you're gonna get bit. <laughs> Thank you. 
responds really nice to picking dynamics. Let's listen to the Naked uh, 1968 Super Reverb. Uh, we'll leave our little splash of, uh, of delay going on. Just for, well, we'll kill it, how about that? All right, this is straight in. So a little bit less output, and I am running the reverb a little wet because I really want to get that kind of voodoo sound there in the beginning. Uh, we're going to switch guitars. We'll switch to another Stratocaster that's in full pitch, and uh, we'll talk about that a little bit, and then we'll get into this too a little bit. It's a real simple pedal, but fantastic unit. All right, let's get into it. So it's a super, guys. You get the idea. Let's crush this thing. Let's do it. All right, Tula. All right, I'm going to soften my technique. I'm kind of backing off and hammering on, backing off, hammering on. Even on the standard boost setting, the Tula is extremely touch sensitive. Now, Josh has gone on in various interviews and mentioned that he cannot play without the Tula. He leaves it engaged all the time. It really does kick the front end of an amp in a really cool way. 
and adds a lot of touch sensitive playing into your uh, into your rig. Okay, so because Josh is such a monster player and he really understands those dynamics so well, um, it's so crazy too because we've had a lot of viewers comment and say, Eric, you know, your playing is a lot like Josh Smith. And I'll be honest, I'd never heard of Josh Smith. And I looked into him and I'm thinking, wow, like the guy is such a fantastic player. So I'm humbled when people say that, you know, my playing is, is a lot like him because, gosh, I, <laughs> I can't play a tenth as good as he can. Uh, but Josh is a fantastic player and he's got really good taste. So if you're into the touch sensitive kind of thing, it can do that on the left side of the Chula. Now, if we really bump up that right side, now it'll really punch this thing into nuclear mode in a beautiful way. And uh, it still retains the touch sensitive dynamics uh, with both sides engaged, but I will say that that side is really more for when you want to go full gonzo. Okay, so kind of like, you know. That kind of thing you can certainly get in there i'll i'll turn off and on that side just so you can hear the difference and we'll go tell you what we'll go all the way from clean amp and then and go through the settings on the pedal so here's a clean super on the bridge pickup all right with the tula without with Now we'll go from the left side and then boss in the right. And I'll tell you what, we'll go a little lower so we can just sort of kiss it and we'll work our way up a little bit. Without. With. Again, retaining a lot of touch sensitive dynamics. I could fool around on this pedal all day, but I think you guys get the idea. It's a fantastic setup. Left side is a fixed boost. Right side can take it into nuclear territory or just give you a little bit more boost if you want. And with the germanium circuit, it's super warm, super vocal, super touch sensitive, super dynamic. 
which is really everything I love in a pedal. And the thing about Love Pedal that I love so much, no pun intended, is that <clears throat> it's very few knobs, excuse me. So you don't really have to mess with a ton of knobs. I, I like that there's just not a lot going on in the way of knobs. There's not much to mess with. It's just a simple effect that gives you exactly what you want and nothing you don't. And uh, that's kind of the reoccurring theme with a lot of the love pedal effects is that they're just super simple. They do the trick and it's great if you're not into messing around with effects a lot. Let's bump that up a little bit. Let's go all the way so you can hear the, the kind of uh, the bounds of the treachery here, okay? And uh, we'll see how it sounds. We'll get, get on the middle pickup. Nobody, nobody loves the middle pickup on the Strat, but I do. Okay. And then we'll, we'll jump over into new clear territory here. All right. Yeah, <laughs> the thing is on fire, okay? Good stuff. So guys, tune in every Monday and Friday here on Guitar Arsenal for a new video. We hope to see you. Many more videos on the way. Click that notification bell. Make sure you're tuned in. This has been the Love Pedal Black Mamba Chula. And I'm a little late to the game. I haven't picked one of these up until recently, but I have to tell you, it's a fantastic unit. And they did a wonderful job with this pedal. So thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's video. There's a hot box. A lot going on in there, okay? I find that I, I like kind of just a gentle kiss past the normal boost. I feel like that's where it's the most musical, but the touch-sensitive dynamics of this pedal, fantastic. Certainly worth looking at. Check it out. So uh, appreciate you guys. Have a good one. I'll make a little more racket, let you guys get back to your day. All right, guys. We'll see you soon. Many more videos on the way. I'm going to get back to that deja vibe. We'll, we'll do a little voodoo on the way out here. I'm just in a Hendrix mood. I can't help it. So, All right. Have a good one, guys. <laughs>